Hey, what's up, you guys? So it's been a while since I've had any time to do any videos and stuff like that lately. I've been doing a lot of mixing and a lot of recording. Today, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about this EQ called the Slick EQ. This is the Gentleman's Edition, but it's from Variety of Sound and Tokyo Don Labs. Now, I really like this EQ. Again, I have the Gentleman's Edition, so I have a little bit extra features. I have like the Japanese mode, which is a little bit sharper curves. So it's more for strategic, like, like really uh, precise cutting. Um, and we also have different filters on the low pass and we on the uh, high pass and then we also gain a whole low pass with different filtering and we have a cool little tilt EQ and two other um, distortion modes but today what I want to talk about is how to use features that are included even in the free version so right here we have a vocal that's from uh, Andre the BG so then if I take out all the effects you can actually hear that there's a lot of resonance in it there's a lot of like muffled and like mouthy noises that are kind of coming out. And the way that I took it out is actually using the auto gain function and the way that auto gain and boosting and cutting works on the uh, Slick EQ. So here's without any effects. Yeah, over here in Germany, they hate on a G because I'm always on game in a fresh white tee. With it. Yeah, over here in Germany, they hate on a G because I'm always on game in a fresh white tee. So let's just take out Slick EQ. Yeah, over here in Germany. And put it back in. Yeah, over here in Germany. They so as you can hear, it kind of does clean out a lot of it. So what we did here is basically, if I take out the slap delay, and we take out all this processing, and we just listen to it with the music. Yeah, over here in Germany, they hate on a G, cause I'm always on game in a fresh white tee. Gotta realize what the stress might be if you see me. So um, one thing I noticed when I was listening to this is that it does sound kind of muffled. It doesn't exactly have that clean sound. It sounds like there's a lot going on. And it even sounds like there's pumping going on in some of the uh, lower frequencies, the lower mid-range frequencies. So what I did here is if I take off this, it's basically I turned on the auto gain function. And this is a great way of learning how to hear and find frequencies that you don't like. So the auto gain function on the Slick EQ is pretty cool. Basically what it does is it allows you to have an auto gain compensation for when you cut and boost. And what that does, I find it to be, is kind of like on how passive EQs, how when you boost a frequency, you're actually cutting everything around that, and then you just gain it up. So basically what I did was I sweeped. So let's say this is at like 214, right? So if I play this and I just sweep up and I have the auto gain on, as you can see, um, you'll hear what I mean. Yeah, over here in Germany, they hate on a G because I'm always on game in a fresh white tee. Gotta realize what the stress might be if you see me Walking on the streets, puffing on that weed Hand up on my piece, no matter what I do They keep staring at me A hater is hating everything He don't understand Seems like love and hate ain't far from each other Cause why do we lie even shoot our own brothers? I got my locs on, feelings undercover the world's a cold place and it makes us all suffer So why do we hate on the next man? I don't care for your car, don't care about the ray -Ban. You see? With a G, it's all about respect I'm just doing me Now show me where you at So as you can see from that um, it's pretty cool because what it basically does is it allows you to be able to boost and sweep But in a very different way a lot of other EQs that give you like a solo button kind of thing What I find a problem is that you don't hear it in the context of the entire frequency band this way you can hear what is getting muffled or masked and then another cool thing is that it has this really smooth high pass filter that i use to just basically tuck under any of that nonsense and rumble so if we listen to this out of solo without it so if you listen to that yeah over here in, in germany and when we turn this on we t it kind of takes it out yeah over here in germany they hate on a g because i'm always on game in a fresh white tee yeah, over here in Germany, they hate on a G, cause I'm always on And then all I did after that was I just had a little bit of compressor bank triggering from a, a little bit more of that Just because I noticed that it was pumping again, like I said So I just had that tucking that down only on that frequency and then a little de -esser. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna play this again And instead I'm gonna start this off at a complete factory default, right? Um, again, I'm gonna have this on British because British really has a sharper cut than it does uh, boost. So all we're gonna do is I'm gonna have auto gain on and we're just gonna boost around and we're gonna sweep and find the frequencies we don't like. Yeah, over here in Germany, they hate on a G cause I'm always on game in a fresh white tee. Gotta realize what the stress might be if you see me walking on the streets, puffing on that weed. Hand up on my piece, no matter what I do, they keep staring at me. Yeah, over here in Germany, they hate on a G. 
Yeah, over here in Germany, they hate on a G, cause I'm always. Yeah, over here in Germany, they hate on a G, cause I'm always on game in a fresh white tee. Gotta realize what the stress might be if you see me walking on the streets, puffing on that weed, hand up on my piece. No matter what I do, they keep staring at me. A hater is hating. Everything you understand Seems like love and hate ain't far from each other Cause why do we lie even shoot our own brothers I got my looks on, feelings undercover The world's a cold place and it makes us all suffer So why do we hate on the next man? I don't care for your car, don't care about the ray You see, with a G, it's all about respect I'm just doing me Now show me where you at So as you can kind of see from that even in the context of with the music playing, you can kind of find and like pick the frequencies that you don't like. And this is a great way for you to learn what you want and what you don't want in a mix. This is great for when you're working with electric guitars and you want to find the frequency that really just complements it. Or if you find that something's masking it, it really helps because it brings out everything and it shows you what is masking and what's not masking. Again, I'm using the paid version, but I'm actually not using any of the features that the uh, free version does not have. Yeah, but besides that, I used, you know, just a stock de a little bit of compressor bank. I use compressor bank because I'm just a huge McDSP fan. But um, yeah, that's about it.